Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we have an untubing. Now this does not come from Ever Moment, as you can clearly see. It's a white tube, not a brown tube. But this comes from another one of my favorite diamond painting companies and it's called Craftably. Craftably has new images and Miss Coffee had to check them out. Now I was unsure of the new images because I, I was just kind of like, I don't do animals. And I saw uh, Patriotic Beauty, she is a... Uh, an affiliate with them. I seen her do the giraffes and I'm like, eh, I like them. They're cute, but I don't, I don't, I don't rock with giraffes like that. But then I seen her do this one and I was like, oh my God, have to get it. Yes. So I got Escape from Eden. So we're going to open it up here, possibly. Um, you're going to watch, watch me ride the struggle bus. But either way, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I am going to have a wonderful day if I can get into this tube. They package their stuff very well. So, oh, there we go. There we go. And as you open the tube, you see in there? Yes. So let's take a look at what we have here. So when you get your Craftably order, it will come in this tube. It'll have a picture of what you purchased just in case you forgot, which you shouldn't because it usually gets to you hella quick. Now, I live in the U.S., so that's why it gets to me quick. I usually get it within three to four days. Um, or I think last time I, it only took like two days or something. Either way. Um, but... This is how it will come, and it has your like your address and stuff on this side, which is where my hand is holding it. But let's see what you get. So when you pull it out, that's a, that's a big one. And your tube is empty, but there is a piece of paper in there. I'm gonna try to grab. I don't know. I don't know if that's a shipping thing or or what. Looks like we got a letter. We just got a letter. Let me stop before I get copyright struck. Right. All right. Oh, it's from Val. Hey, Alicia, thanks for ordering from us again. Here's here at Craftably. I truly hope you enjoy Escape from Eating. I personally, I am personally working on doing this. It is beautiful. I love the colors. I hope life is treating you and your kids and Mr. Coffee well, Valerie. Thank you, Val. So I love those little added touches, little, little something, something extra. I love it. I love it. So they are a new and upcoming company. So if you have not checked out Craftably, they are one of the people or they are one of the companies that has legally licensed images. They are also one of the things I've noticed on their site too. They also not only legally license images, but they have the status and the stamp on the image so you don't have to sit there and go are these legally licensed is this one legally licensed it has it boom artist licensed with craftably so you have no reason to worry about whether it's licensed or not so i love that they did that on their website so kudos to you craftably for doing that so um we have this here sealed in plastic which is great because if something were to happen to that tube and say it would get wet it's not getting through to the plastic so let's Stab the plastic here so we can get the canvas out. And this is a thick plastic. It's dummy thick. This dummy thick plastic on this canvas. So we're going to just kind of tear it open enough where I can get the canvas out. Now, I don't know how they squeeze these things in here because Lord knows I won't be able to get it back in there. I, I, yeah. So here we go. Here's our canvas. Oh, oh I'm, I'm slinging it. We got a toolkit. So in your toolkit, ooh, you got the good tweezers. Pippa showed me that, if you don't know what I just did there. Uh, Pippa was telling me one day, she I think she did a video on it for how to open these baggies because I'm always struggling to open these baggies. And she was like, take your two pinchy fingers, you put it on the baggie, and you push like you're, like you're snapping. You push it. Boom, it opens. Thank you, Pippa. Pippa Brown is a genius. So we have our blue pen. We have a squishy. We have a big old boat. We got a big old white boat with a funnel. We got baggies. We got two plates of wax. We got a three-placer, and we got the good tweezers now. These are the good tweezers. The good tweezers are these black ones with the points. You also will find black ones with, that are rounded head. Those are the good tweezers. The bad tweezers or the cheapo tweezers are the silver ones that when you touch them, they fall apart. So these are the good tweezers. Craftably, can we get some branded tweezers? Asking for myself. I love branded things, if you guys haven't noticed. You can collect these. Like, imagine having a shelf of, like, branded material from all your favorite diamond painting companies. It, wouldn't it be awesome? The world would be a better place with crafted materials. Either way, they're still really good tweezers. So we have the good tweezers, the baggies and the boats, and the wax, and the blue pen with the blue squishy, and the three-placer. I'm just going to throw that all back in there. And, oh, no. Why the pen is always trying to attack me in these bags? Like I don't understand what I've done to deserve this. 
All right, so we're gonna get rid of that tool kit. Y'all don't, don't care about that tool kit. All right, so let's see what we got here. Whew, you guys. I don't know if this is square around either, by the way. I, I don't know. I seen Patriotic Beauty working on this, but I haven't, I, I didn't take notice on whether it was square or round. You guys, these symbols are clearer than crystal. Like, oh my gosh. All right, so now if you haven't seen, I have worked on a Craftably before. Their images are amazing. I love it. So they have their instructions here and they always have their customer service information at the top there in case you have any issues. Okay, gonna just slide this in real quick because I was looking for it and I couldn't find it, but I found it. So on the back of your instruction sheet, okay, on the back of your instruction sheet, if you flip the, if you just flip the instruction sheet over, boom. There is your inventory list. This canvas has 29 colors. Look how big the symbols are on this piece of paper. Good God. So you can go ahead and work on this and use this legend. If you choose to use a uh, story, uh, one of your storage like containers, like a Harbor Freight or a Craftmates Lockable, you can cut these out, put them through your Xeron sticker maker and put them on your canvas or you can just stick them onto the, the baggies so that you have the symbol on the baggies and you don't have to draw it. Um, it also tells you it's a 16 by 20 and that it's a 40 by 50. So a 16 by 20 inch, 40 by 50 centimeter canvas. It gives you another schematic of the image. Yes, craftably doing big things. I love it. So there is that, but I wanted to add that in because I know if I if I don't, somebody's gonna be like, hey, didn't you miss it on the back of that that inventory sheet or instruction sheet? So yes, I found it on the back of the inventory or the instruction sheet. So with that said, go back to the other video. Okay, now go back to the other video. What are you doing here? Go back. What size is this thing? Because they do have a legend on both sides. If I had to make one suggestion, it'd be put that legend down at the bottom. So put like your schematic and stuff down here at the bottom so that when you're working down here, you don't have to look all the way up there. So uh, they do have the legend on both sides at the top. Let's try and get you up as high as I can here. There we go. So they do have the legends at the top on both sides. If they could just shimmy that down a little bit to the to the bottom over here, or even if put this one at the bottom since there's not that little, there's that CE thing on this side. So if they could just, you know, shimmy this one down to the bottom so that when you're working on the bottom, you have something to look at. You guys, this canvas. Okay, let's get rid of that. Y'all don't care about that. This, you guys, the image. Good God, you guys. Okay. If I wasn't already trying to work on two other projects, I would put this to work and work on it. Cause uh, look at this, look at it. Okay, do you see it? Do, do you see the image? Escape from Eden. The y'all. I when I seen this image, I was like, I'm definitely going to have to get it. Have to get it. Now they do the scalloped edging and stuff as well on their canvases. It's really good quality canvas. Uh, pull the plastic back on it. No bubbles or rivers. This is a poor glue canvas. Another reason why I like them so much. Tacky. It is super tacky. Um, if you see the wrinkles in the canvas, like you'll see bubbles in the plastic, like you see here, this. This is not in the canvas. This is the plastic from it being rolled up. Um, all you have to do is pull the plastic back and then lay it down flat and that will flatten itself out. It does not affect the glue on the canvas. Pour glue is very less likely to have bubbles or rivers because of it being poured on instead of double-sided tape. So this is a pour glue canvas. So you're, you can put this away and not have to worry about bubbles, rivers, all that fun jazz. When you see these little plastic markings in your kits, and that goes for any kit that's, uh, Dreamer Designs, Craftably, Diamond Art Club, uh, what other kits have pour glue? The Bonnebel store is another one that I remember. DIY Moon Shop has uh, the pour glue. If you see these wrinkles in your canvas, no need to fret, no need to get upset. These are just wrinkles in the plastic because as soon as you pull that back, let me show you, let me, let me show you here. As soon as you pull that plastic back, one, it will flatten out your canvas if it's rolled. So as you can see, there's no bubbles, no re there, there's, you see those little indents? That's from where the plastic lifted up. It does not affect the canvas at all. It's super, super tacky. And I don't want to touch it too much because then you'll get it dirty and then you have to get a baby wipe to it. But then all you have to really do is flatten it back down. Boom. Made in the shade. 
but I hate doing that because then I always create like the bubbles in the plastic and then I got to spend 20 minutes flattening. Either way, either way. So just know that if you get any canvas that has poured glue, one, it's going to come with a clear cover so you can see the image. Can you see the desperation on this poor woman's face from her trying to escape Eden? Good God. I can feel this in my soul. Now, another reason why I love Craftably. I will always love this company for this reason. You guys, one, if you're new to my channel, hey, I'm Miss Coffee and I love baggies, okay? I love baggies. The fact that this is already kitted up makes me want to work on it right now. Right now. But I'm not going to because I have other projects that I have to get done. But, you guys, it is beautiful. Beautiful. Let's look at the symbols. Let's look at the symbols. Let's make sure all these symbols are clear because I want them to be clear. Let's focus you. So we're going to focus in this area right here. So we have a star, an L, a 1, this slash mark that looks like a cat eye, which is kind of creepy. We have the F, the L, the 1. The eyes, y'all. Eyes. Just. <sighs> yes. So all these are clear. I had to focus on here because it was making it look blurry. So if you're looking off to the side here, it might look a little fuzzy, but that's that we're focusing right here, folks. We're focusing right here. This G, this B, this R, this upside down cross, this M, this little TP. Is that a TP? What is that? I don't know what that is. So you got the cat eyes and then you got the regular eyes, like the, the, the look of shock. Like if you're looking at this, you're, it'll be like, oh boy. Like that's the look of shock right there. So they do have an incredibly clear drill filled. Ooh, look, they have the music notes again. I remember the music notes from my sunflower. Y'all, I so badly want to work on this. Y'all might have to wait on that Dreamer designs because this craftably, good God. You guys, it is gorgeous. Even though I don't know when I'm putting this unboxing up just because I do have a lot to do. So um, there's a lot going up in a short period of time. So <laughs> if you see this and I'm already working on Dreamer Designs, just know this one probably is going to be next because it is gorgeous. Uh, the folks over at Craftably do an amazing job. And again, they're new. So if you have not tried them, check them out. Go see if they have something you might like. Is something that might tickle your fancy. So let's look at the drill, shall we? Now, the last time I did them, they had excellent drill quality. Excellent, excellent drill quality. So this is a round. And it does have the DMC number on the bag. So look look at the look at the drill quality. Look at it. Look at the quality of those drills. Y'all. Why craftably trying to get me in my feelings right now? Alright, so it looks like they had them in order. And I essentially, of course, took them out of order because that's what Miss Coffee does. So we're gonna try to lay them all out here for you guys to see. I sure did. I took them all kinds of out of order. So yeah, so when I saw Patriotic Beauty working on this, I was like, I really, really want to get that image. It is really cute. I, I saw it coming out as one of their new images, but I was a little iffy about it. But when, once I saw her with it, I was like, I knew I had to have it. I just knew it. I knew it. It looked gorgeous just a little bit that she had started working on it already. I can't wait to see what, she, what it looks like when she finishes it. But, of course, I will be working on it eventually at some point, too. So, I'll get to see it in person. So, if this is an image that tickles your fancy, um, head on over to Craftably and go grab this. 950. Just, just, this is just doing inventory just to make sure that it's all there. Not that I don't think it is because I'm pretty sure it is. And I'm pretty sure if it wasn't, all I have to do is contact them and be like, Hey, I'm missing something. And they'll send it right on over. Um, 3626, 3778. 3808, 3810, 3848, 3843, which is what's in my hand, 43, 44, 45. Oh, where's 792 go? <laughs> All right, so look at the array of colors for this kit. Holy moly. So you got some dark blues, you got some peaches. You, of course, you're going to have a couple of skin tones thrown in there because, you know, there is a person in the picture. Now, usually I don't go for people in pictures just because their faces are usually nightmare fuel, but her face is so big, I can see her lips. I can see her nose, her eyes perfectly fine. So this is going to turn out great. I love the way they render their images. So again, if you have not checked them out, check them out. And I went bigger this time. Uh-oh, do we have a hole in the bag? How did you get out of there? 
Got to do that Pippa trick to get into the bag. Also, if you ever have a drill that's stuck, like if it comes out of the bag or something and you, you're you sitting there trying to get it off the canvas and you can't, just lick your finger a little bit and tap it. It'll come right off. I know it's kind of gross, but you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Don't forget to wash your hands. All right. So the last time I went th with Craftably, I got this, the sunflower and I got it, it. They have it in the best size that's going to make that bit, that image look the best. Um, I did wish sunflower was a little bit bigger. But I was okay with the size because it still turned out great. So I was happy to see that this one's a little bit bigger. This one is a 40 by 50. So let me get my measuring tape. Okay. So we're going to get our measuring tape. And we're going to measure this. Uh-oh. Maybe. Okay. It got stuck in there because Maggie has destroyed poor little Hello Kitty's body. Either way. So we're going to get our measuring tape out and we're going to measure it glue to glue. Because we're measuring, we're measuring glue to glue because... Uh, we're drilling the glue, the glue area. We're not drilling the actual canvas part. So it's just a nick away from 50. Just a nick. And it is a nick away from 40. So it is true to size uh, 40 by 50. Even with that nick being gone, they do ask you to usually give them an inch or two or however that works of, you know, space. And so this is as close to 40 by 50 as they got it. And it looks great still. I still love it. Even with the little nick missing, that's not a big deal. If it was like a couple of inches missing, we might have to have com different conversation. But it's only a nick. You can handle that. But you guys, the clarity of the, the canvas is there. The quality of the drills is there. The, symbol, the, the schematic on the side. Love the size. Now, I'm wondering... No, they didn't because I, I thought they had a, a piece of paper with the schematic on it in the last unboxing, but I don't think they did because their number, their DMC codes are on their bags. One, craftably, never get rid of the baggies. Okay, if you love Miss Coffee, please don't get rid of the baggies ever. <laughs> I love the baggies. I don't have to kit this up. I can just go. Like, I can just start working on this right now. Just immediate. Who knows? Miss Coffee might just randomly open box something and start doing a whipping chat with it. Like, you, you don't. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm so excited about this. All right. And so what I did, especially when I get baggies like this with a kit, what I like to do is, it says 760 here. So if you look on your schematic over here, come down to my business. 760 is a number seven. So what I would do is in this little space right here, I would put another a, a number seven. And I do that to all my bags. One, it saves you time from having to kit it up. And two, when you're done, you can put this away. And then when you frame this or hang this, however you you may do if something happens where it comes off which i highly doubt because none of the drills have come off my sunflower yet um but if something were to happen where the drills were to come off you already have these bags labeled you already you could just go pick it up go oh okay this color fell off boom put it on there the end love 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 when the companies put them in baggies so huge two big old thumbs up for craftably you guys are doing amazing things over there keep up the great work i love the new artwork you came out with this one had to be my favorite one when i was showing this one when i sh was when i seen this one i knew i was going to have to have it and thanks to patriotic beauty she just helped that purchase along real quick so thank you to the folks over at craftably for this image it is gorgeous i can't wait to start on it i wish i could start on it right now it's so pretty but I, i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to wait either way but thank you again to the folks over at Craftably. This is a beautiful, beautiful image. All her information should pop up on the screen there for you so you can see how much she costs and size and all the fun stuff. Again, she is around. Um, I wonder if in the future Craftably is going to think about A-B drills. There's something for you to think about Craftably. Just going to put that out there for you. Just a little, little egg for you, a little egg for you, a little... A, B drill in there once in a while. Yeah, I mean, just saying. Either way, that's it for me, folks, today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy unboxings and random other craft just like this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, folks, I am now going to have to bid you adieu, but not before reminding you, like I always try to. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.